Despite its name, nor'easters are not named for the northeastern United States, rather the direction the winds are blowing from the north and the east. The entire east coast provides an ideal breeding ground for these storms. During winter, the polar jet stream transports cold Arctic air southward across the plains of Canada and the U.S. This combines with warm air from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic trying to move northward. According to the National Weather Service, nor'easters usually develop between the latitudes between Georgia and New Jersey within 100 miles of the east coast. That's because the Gulf Stream helps keep the coastal Atlantic relatively warm during the winter. The contrasting temperatures between the warm air over the ocean and cold air over land is fuel for nor'easters. These storms generally move northeastward and reach maximum intensity near New England and Canadian coastal provinces. A typical nor'easter can cause high winds, heavy precipitation, beach erosion, and coastal flooding. One of the most memorable nor'easters here in the southeast is the March 1993 superstorm, also known as the Storm of the Century. While Charlotte recorded just under two inches of snow, places like Lincolnton and Hickory recorded nine inches. Raising your weather IQ on nor'easters, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.